Hey guys, in this video, I will show you what if you have duplicate frames here in your time to do DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So I have a couple of videos. My timeline is very long. There's actually a feature that can show me duplicate frames here in my timeline. And we actually have this feature on the DaVinci Resolve on the desktop. If we go here to view, we can say, show duplicate frames. But how can we do this now on the iPad? So in order to do this, you have to come to the shortcuts menu, option, command, and K. And now when we come in here to search, we can sh search for show duplicate frames. You have to give this a shortcut. So in order to open this one, you just either, this is a toggle feature, you toggle it on or off. So if you have this one on, now I toggle this on, it will now show me my duplicate frames. So I see these frames here and I see these frames here. Another solution how you can see this now is for example, I can right click here on this one, go all the way to the bottom. And by the way, this only works in the edit page, not in the cut page of the range resolve on the iPad. You have to be in the edit page and the edit page. I have a video here on my YouTube channel where I show you how, how you can unlock all of these pages. So in the edit page, you can see this here, as you can see, I can't see this here, the cut page, but I can see the duplicate frames here on the edit page. I can right click and then just come down here. And then here it also says duplicate frames. And it will show me now all the duplicate frames that it found. Another way that's not completely correct, but an, a way to see how often you use your footage is that you come in here in the media pool and you make list view. And then here on top, right click. And we have here usage. Usage will tell you, so we can take this one now here to the front. So here, usage will tell you, if I go here into my folder, this clip I used 14 times, this clip I used eight times. So this is not showing you duplicate frames, but it gives you a rough idea how many times you use that clip in your timeline. And then with the duplicate feature, you can actually see them. And if you don't need that anymore, you can also then just turn it off again with the shortcut. I hope you learned something here on this channel. It's all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I'm Daniel. If you learned something, hit like, subscribe, and we see us in the next video. Bye.